Now that we have the refrigerant lines brazed in, we've made our electrical connections to the air handler, we've made our electrical connections to the condensing unit, we've started the triple evacuation method. As we're picking up and starting to clean up as we're evacuating the system, we want to double check and verify that our air handler blower speed is set to the proper speed. So all air handlers are PSC motors. Uh, both heat and cool taps are on the same um, double uh, spade terminal on the motor. Um, check with your install instructions. Most of the time cool speed is on uh, a higher speed than a heating speed. Check based on the amount of uh, KW you have uh, for electric backup heat. Um, check what speed you should have that blower motor set to. Um, and then we also want to double check and uh, verify that uh, in most cases our cooling speed is at the high speed. You may have to make adjustments based on your duct system um, and static pressure. You may have to make some adjustments to the blower speed from there. But we do not set the blower speeds for your particular install. Uh, you must set that, double check it. This is a good time to do it when you've got the system on the vacuum pump and you're pumping down the system. Uh, this is a good time to go ahead and set that uh, speed now. On the blower board itself, you will find some dip switches. That is what you're going to set your uh, heating speed and your cooling speed for that air handler. So if you're making a blower speed change on the board, power down the air handler, make your switch uh, change on the board itself, and then power up the air handler to accept that new change. If you do this with power on, it will not take your new setting it will stay at the previous setting. With units with our variable speed blower motors, uh, be it the FG or the fixed high efficiency uh, motor or the variable speed motor or the VG motor, uh, the, the blower motor board is mounted in on the blower assembly itself. 